Latin America is home to just 8% of the world's population, but has suffered nearly a third of all COVID-19 deaths. Brazil is the worst affected country. Nearly 400,000 people there have died. President Jair Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro has consistently played down the effects of the virus, but he's now trying to get more vaccines from abroad. The streets are once again filling up in Sao Paulo and other cities after four weeks of local restrictions that have seen the number of new infections fall slightly. But the statistics are devastating. April has been the deadliest month in Brazil to date. Many experts say insufficient lockdown restrictions make the country a breeding ground for virus mutations that then spread to other countries. The P1 variant that first emerged in January in the city of Manaus has triggered an explosion of infections and deaths, with hospitals often running out of beds and oxygen. The poor are being disproportionately affected. Around 12 million Brazilians live in favelas, in extremely crowded conditions. Malnutrition is also a problem, especially as government aid has been cut and unemployment has risen during the pandemic. All the data shows that the poorer you are, the higher the rate of infection. The death rate from coronavirus is much higher amongst people who are on the margins of society. President Jair Bolsonaro argues that lockdowns increase economic hardship. But critics say Brazil is paying a high price for his radical stance. This week, the Senate opened an inquiry into Bolsonaro's handling of the pandemic. The president has resolutely ignored all scientific advice. He long played down the virus and encouraged the use of medications that doctors say are worthless. With his poll ratings taking a hit, Bolsonaro is now making more of an effort to procure vaccines from abroad. But in a country of well over 200 million, it will take many months to vaccinate even the most vulnerable at the current rate. In the meantime, Without any nationwide restrictions, thousands are continuing to die in Brazil every day. Well, the European Parliament has been debating Latin America's worsening COVID situation. So let's uh, talk to uh, Mikhail Gala, who's foreign affairs coordinator for the Parliament's largest grouping, the centre-right European People's Party. Uh, welcome to DW. Once the Parliament has debated much. the situation in Latin America, what can you actually do about it? Well, we have stated that both Europe and Latin America are two of the most affected regions in the world with regard to this pandemic. And we have, uh, according also what you just reported, uh, clearly said that we regret that this pandemic has been heavily politicized, including such negation negationist rhetoric or downplay of the severity of the situation by heads of state and government. I mean, we have not named anybody directly, but uh, everybody knows who is, uh, um, who is to be named and shamed. But uh, what can we actually do? We have uh, called on the Commission to activate also the EU civil protection mechanism and other solidarity funding for Latin America. We have contributed financially to the COVAX initiative. The Commission has from the budget added 500 million, which is EU budget 1 billion, plus European Investment Bank, plus member states amounts to a overall aid to COVAX by the EU of 2.2 billion euros. And of course, a considerable part of that will go to Latin America. And cooperation amongst these states needs to be improved and we can contribute because we know how to cooperate over borders. OK, so there's, 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 there's political and, and practical things that, that the Parliament uh, can do or cause to be done. Um, why don't you uh, name the heads of state whose behaviour you believe has contributed uh, to this disaster in Latin America? Well, in the debate, uh, the names uh, have been uh, se several times uh, been named. Uh, so, but, uh, well, uh, as everybody knows who is meant, and it's not only Mr Bolsonaro, I mean, the fact that the regime in Venezuela causes, Maduro causes millions of refugees and 1.8 million are in uh, Venezuela, we welcome. 
the, the status, uh, the protection status that uh, the Colombian government has issued to the uh, refugees in, in, from Venezuela. And we also call to all countries to vaccinate people for free, regardless of their migratory status. So refugees must not be disregarded uh, in, uh, in Latin America when they are to be vaccinated. And on the issue of, of vaccinations, with the supply of vaccines uh, here in Europe picking up, uh, should we be uh, perhaps sending doses to badly hit regions like Latin America uh, beyond uh, just contributing to the COVAX scheme? Well, uh, as soon as uh, doses are available and the capacity, the production capacity is there, I would be very much in favour of that and everything. Everybody uh, would support that. But, uh, well, as you rightly said, it's picking up in Europe. Um, every region is responsible for its own citizens first. That is uh, how things are. Uh, but uh, solidarity must be practised uh, uh, as soon and as wide as, as, as necessary and possible. Right. We thank you for joining us, uh, sir. Thank you uh, very much for that. Uh, Mikhail Gala from the European People's Party.